or the Kikarok troupe is the one I started with 30 years ago. And they were your basic old baboon troupe at the time, and which means males were aggressive and society was highly stratified. And then about, by now, almost 20 years ago, something horrific and scientifically very interesting happened to that troupe. The Kikarok troupe took to foraging for food in the garbage dump of a popular tourist lodge. The trash included meat tainted with tuberculosis. The result was that nearly half the males in the troop died. In that troop, if you were aggressive, and if you were not particularly socially connected, socially affiliated, you didn't spend your time grooming and hanging out, if you were that kind of male, you died. Every alpha male was gone. The Kikarok troop had been transformed. And what you were left with was twice as many females as males, and the males who were remaining were you know, just to use scientific jargon, they were good guys. They were not aggressive jerks. They were nice to the females. They were very socially affiliative. It completely transformed the atmosphere of the troop. And when new adolescent males would join the troop, they'd come in just as jerky as any adolescent males elsewhere on this planet. And it would take them about six months to learn, we're not like that in this troop. We don't do stuff like that. We're not that aggressive. We spend more time grooming each other. Males are calmer with each other. You do not dump on a female if you're in a bad mood. And it takes these new guys about six months, and they assimilate this style. And you have baboon culture, and this particular troop has a culture of very low levels of aggression and high levels of social affiliation. And they're doing that 20 years later.